Okay, what does altering Halloween candy and someone drugging your drink have in common? Well, at this point, if either happens, they all fall under the same type of crime. Yeah, but maybe not for long because spiking someone's drink could soon be a felony. Yes, a felony. Our news partners in Charlotte pushed for change. Check out the bill now in front of lawmakers. I uh, started to black out and fell on the floor. A woman who uh, once felt unheard definitely. now has a voice echoing across the state. I decided that I had to do something. It's a frightening story we've been hearing since last year. Leah McGurk describing how her drink was spiked at the epicenter. Knowing that you're at the mercy of anyone around you. But when McGurk, who was not sexually assaulted, went to file a police report, there was no clear category for the crime. That's when our defenders team found North Carolina law did not specifically address date rape. So law enforcement would refer to a statute designed to include crimes like altering a child's Halloween candy. A reporter, Alex Shabad, actually contacted Representative Beasley when he saw my story and he informed him about the laws and how they needed to be updated. Just last year, our investigation led to a new state law to clearly define the crime of date rape. And fast Dad forward Beasley to today, it's sparking another major County. legislative push. And I am honored today to introduce uh, House Bill 393. At this news conference in Raleigh, State Representative Chaz Beasley announcing a new bill. It would make spiking someone's drink a felony, regardless of whether the victim is sexually assaulted. Right now we have a statute that makes drugging or adding some sort of foreign substance to someone's food illegal and this expands that to make sure that drinks are also included. It leaves you feeling like you're in no man's land as a victim and like the law isn't actually there to protect you. So this really modernizes our laws. Representative Beasley says the bill has already received bipartisan support and it's gaining momentum with help from this woman who brought the issue to light. I'm very glad that something good is coming from this. House Bill 393 has passed its first reading and is now on to the Judiciary Committee. Now, three triad area representatives are listed as sponsors. Amos Quick, District 58, Pricey Harrison, District 61, and Cecil Brockman, District 60.